Here's a simple reminder that your husband's looking for you. You're the right man for you is still looking for you too. I know you're looking for him, but he's, we got to remember he's looking for you. Like he's sitting out there right now being like, where is she? I am, I want to meet her so badly. Like, where do I find her? He's swiping on apps too. He's going out with his guy friends too. He's looking for you. So don't lose hope. Okay. You're going to run into one another. 2024 is your year. I so believe. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. <laughs> you guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so I've been on this stream, and y'all know I'm struggle streaming. But so far, I've got a lot of people in my comments talking about the things I've said, all right? Now, if you haven't heard me say this before, I tell young guys, do not marry old women over 30. If you're going to marry somebody, marry somebody 10 to 15 years younger. And I'm getting a lot of pushback. I'm getting people in my comments. There's one guy says, um, what do he say? Uh, he's 35 and he can't deal with young chicks because they don't know what they want. They're too immature and they play too much games. I'm like, okay, really? Really? Now, my response is, I have Mariah Carey, no. Mary J. Blige, Amber Rose, Keisha Cole, Three Baby Daddy, Erica Baidu. They're all dating young guys, and they all have broken up with the young guys. I could go on and on, okay? You think that older women don't play games, huh? I keep telling y'all, older women are the biggest liars. They've been lying since they've been 8, 9, 10 years old, and they mastered it by 40 and 50. Okay? So right now, we have this old broad here, Johnny O'Neill, who is almost half a century years old. She is 49, pushing 50, and she's playing games. If y'all don't know who Shawnee O'Neill is, she's one of the co-producers of Basketball Wives, she used, to date, <laughs> she used to be married to Shaquille O'Neal. And Aww. back then, Shaquille O'Neal was a big-time basketball player. He had a lot of groupies, and she did not like it. One day, she went through the phone, saw, you know, he was cheating. So she slashed through tires and scribbled on his car that you cheated on me and all this sloppy stuff. They get divorced, and she took him through the ringer. This is why Shaquille O'Neal is still working, because... That, that child support and alimony got him. She's been raping him ever since. So now that she is 50 years old, she got to pay to play. <laughs> Guys, I've said this before. Sugar babies become sugar mamas in the end. In the beginning, yeah, she's cute. You're throwing her money. But when she gets 49 years old, in reverse. She start paying for the D. Shawnee O'Neal was dating this guy. Well, not dating, but she was messing around with this guy, Loose Cannon. That's this guy's name, Loose Cannon. Shout out to you, Loose Cannon. But I know you're affiliated, so... <laughs> Shout out to you. Now, Loose Cannon is 30 years old. 30 years old, affiliated Crip member. And let's take a look of a clip on no. to Jumper. Neil told me... I don't believe that. I don't Shawnee O'Neal told me but the no, same thing. But for Shani real. told Cannon. when she brought me on uh, my watch. You was Shawnee? Oh my god. Shawnee O'Neal. Oh hey, my hey, god. You know the crazy no, part, no, right? Hold on. Look, hold on. Crazy no. Part, right? no, look. no, I wasn't. No, wait. Hey, look. So look. That's a wild card. Listen, bro. Jesus. She brought bro, me what you... AP, right? Wait, who brought you an AP? Shawnee, right? Uh, no, Sha Shaq's bank account. 
Look, Shaq got mad at me cuz because I'm f or whatever like that, but that's you know, that's uh <laughs> What the f about here? So right when now? so when I proposed to her, right? Wait, Shaq you go up on her. He Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. Wait, stop! He's wait, you proposed to Shadi. No, 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 me, hell no. me, 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 me. To, to when, her. When he proposed to me, Shaq DM'd me and said, and I wish you him. the best. But what the of f you got to do with Shaq? Because he was my friend. Prior to, Prior to him and Shani. Prior to us. So, so Shaq when I know who you us, are. Yeah. Because, because he his wife or ex wife. No, because she was spending money on me, right? <sighs> so she yeah, got me yeah, a Richard yeah. Millie. Right. Got uh, Richard Millie. Uh, you can't. Yeah. Come on. No, he's not. Dead, dead homie. Come on, he's come not. On. What happened to it? I got. Oh. It's not today. No. Oh, he gets shot too many times. He don't shot. wear jewelry oh. no more. Yeah. So it's like, at the end of the day, I was. I mean, she was like a sugar mama to me on crib. So at the so end you of can't, the day, you can't, you can't. Sh men do the okay, same thing on. women do. I tell you right One now. Second. Okay? One second. One second. Let me ask you a question. Thing. Was you going to the house? I was going everywhere. What, she, what, she was, what city was listen, the house in? Listen, listen. We <laughs> she gonna be mad to the ball when she see this, but at the end of the day is Shani O'Neal. She know what's up. I feel like two weeks before she got married to the pastor. Oh she my was like, God. She you gotta like, get her divorced. Stop wait. it. No, she told me she was like, I need some good before I go down the aisle. I said, Crip, I got you. What you got for me? Oh she was God. like, wait, wait, I got, I got no, listen, you. Hold she on. was like, I got 10000 for you. I said, that's not enough. When I pulled up, she gave me 50. So. She was trying to cop. She gave you 50 high five, racks. high five, high five, yeah. baby. High five. You got that it like that? One. High course. five. <laughs> oh my God. Shawnee O'Neal is for the streets. No, 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 no. no. Shawnee O'Neal is for the boulevard. She is queen of the boulevard. Older women don't play no games, huh? Two weeks before she gets married to this guy, Keon Henderson, the pastor of a mega church. He got one of the biggest churches in Texas, humble Texas. And this dumbass pastor is 42 years old. He's been married. He got three kids already. And he got a big congregation. He could go down to any one of his flocks and pick one up from there. But no, 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 no. He went and chose a heathen. Somebody who don't believe in the church. She said it herself. Right? Let's take a look at the clip of the first time they met. Well, I'm going to let you start. You, you tell me what it was like when we first met in our first date. Oh, I had the best time. We had a impromptu date because you were in, well, technically you weren't in Los Angeles. You were pretty far outside of Los Angeles. San Bernardino. And you preached at a church in San Bernardino. I lived in LA and um, you were like, oh, do you, you know, I'm preaching. You want to come? And I was like, mm, San Bernardino, not so much. Love to hear you preach, but I'm not trying to drive to San Bernardino by myself. That's a, that's right. <laughs> I wasn't driving that far to church. So anyway, on your way leaving San Bernardino to go home, they had you leaving out of LAX, which was great because I was like, cool, you know, maybe we can hook up when you get to LA, which was, you know, around dinner time. But I was out with some friends having dinner. So I said, Okay, well, I'm gonna, we're not gonna be able to do dinner. I'm already out of dinner, but maybe I'll hit you later. I hit you later, and you were at your hotel, and then you were like, Well, you can swing by here. In my mind, I was like, Hmm, hotel, swing by. I'm a lady, okay? You need to understand. So keep that in your mind. So I said, Okay, I'll meet you in the lobby. And you were a gentleman, and you were in the lobby. We went in the restaurant, and we sat, and we had such an awesome conversation. I ordered a margarita. No, you ordered two. two, two, two. <laughs> what? Two margaritas. We already know that Shawnee's a lush, all right? This is what I didn't like about Shawnee. She's the co-producer of Basketball Wives, and she always put the other girls in a bad light. She was always the innocent one and talk soft and all that. She's just act pretentious. What? Like she was better than everybody, right? But we already see she is queen of the streets. 
she was dating the pastor, Aww. and two weeks before her marriage, she was screwing around with this guy, a young boy. Oh my gosh! Young, they don't play no games. You say right. Examples after examples, I could go on of all these old broads who date young men and playing games. That's all they do. They still play games. At least if they're younger, you got to kind of manipulate and control a little bit. But when they're older, they got the, they, they've been doing this for 40, 50 years. They've been lying to their daddies, their uncles, their coaches. They practice it. They know they lie to each other. They know how to lie. But this pastor here got to be the biggest idiot. Move over, TD Jakes. Move over. The year 2023. Mr. Henderson, come on down. Pastor Henderson, this is you. This is for you, sir. You're a big ass loser. And you better not divorce her. You have to carry this all the way through. You are poor judgment of character. If you chose this heathen, you decide to swap spit with Shawnee O'Neal. Ugh. What the hell's wrong with you? You thought you got a real one, right? She'll tell you all the good stuff that you wanted to hear. You're the last to know. <laughs> you are the last to know. The whole internet knew before you did. Pastor. Now, you have to run along because nobody's going to feel sorry for you. You should know better. You should have known better. You should have known better. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. If you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Turn on the notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And you old broads, get off my lawn.